it's a never ending book haul on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie and we're just, it's another book haul because, because frankly, I have no self-control. Control yourself. Okay, so here's the deal. We all know that I'm part of two book groups on Instagram that do like random acts of kindness, okay? So a lot of these books, a lot of these books, I did not buy. I bought for others. And they gave to me okay so it's the circle of life that's how it works but um i wanted to like just get these out of the way do a book haul because i need to put them away where i have no freaking idea i don't know you see this that's a pile of books that have no home where are these gonna go i don't know i don't know but i wanted to haul them get it out of the way so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna haul some books. Let's go. Okay, so these books are in no particular order. They're just, however, I just stack them in front of me. So we're gonna start with the first one and just work our way. I'm not even gonna tell you guys like where I got them because frankly, half the time I can't remember. But like always, I will have all the books listed down below for your convenience so you can go look them up because they do a better job synopsizing. I don't even think that's a word than I do. So let's just get into this haul. The first book in this haul is by Lainey Taylor and it is Strange the Dreamer and this is everywhere like years ago really because I'm behind I'm always like a day late dollar short you know how it is so do I know what this is about kind of but then I was like maybe not because I was thinking maybe Strange is the person's name but I don't see it in the book so Oh, it is. Okay. Laszlo Strange. It's about him, her, him. Don't know. Um, but all I know is a lot of people like it. So there's this one. And I like the cover. It's pretty. Like I said, I'm a cover buyer. But like I said, I also didn't buy all these books. So yes. The next book is The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. And I actually have one of hers, The Friend Zone. I already ha I have have I read it no 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 we don't nope nope not here I don't know her um but I do have the book now so I don't know if this is first or if that's first I'll figure it out but again I've heard good things about this book as well the next book is by Lisa Brown Roberts and is the bookworm crush and I just like the cover I a lot of these are just like oh look at the cover because I don't know what the, <laughs> the books really about but I just want to be her. That's all. Um, this next book I bought myself. Those I did not buy. Any of those. But I bought this one. And it's Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. And it is a signed copy. And I got this at Walmart. Because sometimes my Walmart sells signed copies. And sometimes my Walmart has nothing. So it's one or the other. There's no in between. But today, uh, that day I went, it was a good day. Because I had the signed copy of it. But... I've heard good things about this and I repeatedly repeat myself saying I hear good things about this because I do. Because I wouldn't buy a book where I'm like, I heard crappy things about this, so now I'm gonna read it. But no, we don't do that here. So again, I've only read one other book by her, which was Everything Everything, and I really like that and I really like the movie. So I'm hoping that I will like this one as well. Um, I then have the third book in the Bridgerton series. I have book two in this haul somewhere but I just did not lay these out very well so you're getting book three for book two. This is Benedict's story and Benedict if I'm not mistaken is the artist who went to a very fun time during the show um but yeah so I'm pretty sure it's Benedict but yes if you haven't seen Bridgerton at this point I, there's just no hope but if you like Gossip Girl and you like the 19, 18, let's go back a little bit farther, 1800s. Um, you like, you would, you would like it. And if not, just look up the Duke of Hastings and then you'll really like it. So, I mean, that'll make you watch it no matter what. 
We simply enjoyed each other's company so much we could not stay away from one another. I then got from the book drop, which was my last book uh, subscription, it was my last month for it, and I got A Low Country Bride, and I just think it's, I really don't know what it's about much, but it says it's a warm romantic story of two complex people falling in love. So there you go, it's a romance. Just what I need. And it is by Preslesa Williams. So that should be an interesting read. And then by the grace of Zeus, I got this book, okay? Cause you know how I like me some Katie Robert and I got my Desperate Measures, which is Jafar and Jasmine. Well then in the mail came none other than Learn My Lesson, which is book two in the Wicked Villain series. And this is about Hades and Meg and Hercules. Mm -hmm. I said three. I did not miscount. One, two, three, not only you and me, got 180 degrees and I'm caught in between counting. So, Hades kind of runs like this under belly sex club. It is what it is. And, uh, he, like, Meg, he's like, something with Meg. I don't really care. You don't read this book for the plot. You, you don't. Don't lie to yourself. You don't. I gotta tell myself that you don't need it for the plot. But I am definitely, when I remember when I was like, I don't say I'm excited to read these. I don't read books. Okay. Well, this one I am excited to read. The next book is called The Layover by Lacey Walden. And all I know about this is she's a flight attendant and her ex was on the plane and they have a layover. Hence the name. And it's a romance. We all know where it's going to end up, which is fine. I'm fine with that because romances, I know what's, I know what I'm getting when I read it. I just got done reading Lock Every Door. I have some things to say about that in my recent reads. The next book is, I have book four. So I actually, this is book four of Bridgerton. I already hauled book two, which is Anthony's story. So this is Penelope and Colin's story. And Penelope is one of my favorite characters. That's all I can say about that because it's spoilers. Um, but I am, no, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm very excited, but I'm happy I got it. The next book that I got is a thriller and it is by Lisa Jewell and it's Invisible Girl. Have I read any of her other books like The Family Upstairs or Then She Was Gone? No. Do I own them? Yeah. <laughs> It's just a curse that I have that I just do this to myself. But I like thrillers and I like having them on hand in case like I start reading a book and I just can't get into it. I can always get into a thriller and it kind of gets me out of a reading slump. So I went ahead and got this because I've heard good things about those other books. So we're going in with like we're going in blind because I have no idea what this is about. The next book that I got is Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams, which is the second book in like the bromance series. I think the first book is Bromance Club. Bromance Book Club? I think it's Bromance Club. And that would be my cat meowing at the door. Bromance Book Club. I own it. I haven't read it, but it's okay because now I have book two as well. The next book that I got is by Helena Hunting and it's Kiss My Cupcake and I just like the title because it's so much sass. Like I just want to tell someone to kiss my cupcake but I'm not southern enough to say that. <laughs> it's just how it is. Like I can say bless your heart and all that stuff and it still doesn't work because I'm not southern enough. I don't have the accent. It just doesn't work. I need the accent. So I just have to be nasty to people and I can't be backhanded nasty to people because I don't have an accent. Bless your heart. Bless you. What we're really saying to you is you're so stupid. But it says he sugar, she spice, the perfect mix of a recipe for disaster. And I, if it has to do with baking, I'm in because I love, I love to eat the baking product. Do I like the process? But I like the results. The next book I got, the next three I got today in the mail, okay? I am so excited. When I say I'm excited, this I mean I'm excited. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Because 
because I've been wanting to read this freaking book for so long. <laughs> it's all over the romance and I'm just like, well, I need it. And here it is. It's in my hands. It's Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I'm ready. It's a slow burn. It's an age gap. Go look it up yourself because I don't want to give anything away. Just I need to read this one as soon as I'm done the other one I'm reading because or I'll start I can read two at once it's fine I'm already reading two I can read can I read three at once that might be pushing it that may be pushing it but just know it's a girl and she kind of falls in love with her ex-boyfriend's father <laughs> Scandalous. just go in it just enjoy it just go and enjoy it the next book that I have here is Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade, and I have never seen this cover. This cover is so cute. I've only seen this cover. So I've never seen it in pink, pink and yellow. Like, yeah, I think it's so cute. I mean, the other cover's cute too, but I like this cover. And again, if this has been over like booktube and things like that, so you probably already know what it's about, but it's another romance. And then I got the Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. This is a Jane Eyre retelling, but it's a thriller. And I'm just so excited because I've heard mixed reviews. But even if I hear like a good review and a bad review, I kind of the bad review and I'll go with a good review and I will read the book. So am I putting myself up for like failure? Possibly. But it's okay. Because it's me doing it. These last books I bought myself today at Ollie's. So yeah, I shelled out the money for these, but the other ones I had not have bought, except for the Bridgertons, I did buy those. Um, this one was a used library book, but I don't care. But this is A City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. And I kind of read the synopsis a little bit while I was in the store. And it's like she goes to New York in like the 1940s. So it's past flapper time. I'm not quite sure what the 40s, would have been I don't know what I can I'm, I'm like picturing what they're wearing but I can't think of the era that it would be but it sounds interesting I mean except for the fact that they put the sticker on the cover we all know if you've been here you know how I deal with the stickers on the cover of my books um the next book I got was The Paris Spy by Susan Elia McNeil McNeil and all I know is that she's a spy and she has to go undercover during like World War II to find this other spy that was kidnapped and, or had information and they can't find her. So it's a little like thrillery, more so spy-ish, but it sounded again intriguing to me. So I got that one. I then got The Marriage Clock by Zara Rahim. And I just like, again, this covers the pink and the yellow is just like, <laughs> and I feel for this girl because because like everyone wants her to get married and she's just like no it's just how it is just just no um i feel her she's like my spirit animal but yeah it really i saw the, like the cover and i was just like cover by why do i do this why and the last few books are a study in scarlet and other stories sherlock holmes watson Yes, that's who they are. I know some classics. Um, but I just thought the edition was really pretty. It's got a map. And you know how every book reader feels about maps. They said there was a map and now they lied to me. It says there's a map. Full map of London. Um, where? You suckers. Oh, there it is. It's really like a map map like when you're driving type map. I would much prefer with pictures. But yes, this one was only $3.99, which I think is a good buy for a classic. This next book, I don't even know what this is, but I had to get it because of the cover. And it is by Cheryl Brooks and it is a Cat Star Legacy and this is Maverick. I assume he's Maverick, say hello. Maverick. Yes, hello. You be a strong man. Hello to Maverick. I do believe these are aliens. Not to be mistaken with the blue kind. I need to read that. 
yeah, they're like Zetithians, okay? I don't care what they are. I just want to look. I just want to look at them. So we got this because I'm shallow. And then the last book that I got is called Jane Steele, okay? And the blurb says it's Jane Eyre gets a dose of Dexter. Like, what? I'm, yeah, yes. That's the reason I got this, just because of the little blurb. Like, Jane Eyre meets Dexter. Two things. It sounds amazing. So I got it. Do I know what it's about? Not really. But it is by Lindsay Fay, and I kind of know what it's about, Jane Eyre. You gotta know Jane Eyre, and you gotta know what Dexter is. You put the two together, and you get Jane Steele. Editing Katie here. I missed another book, because why not? Um, but I also got They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. And this one, I am excited to read, okay? This is like Promising Young Woman in a book, but better. Because you've seen the movie, it has a terrible ending and I hate it. But I've heard this book is so good. So this is another one that I also got in the mail. Now, back to regularly scheduled program with the past me. That is my book haul. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've read any of these books, let me know down below in the comments. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Which one should I read first? Let a girl know. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you're new, I try to do, I'm trying to do like two videos a week now. So hopefully I can keep that up. But all my social media is linked down below. As always, if you'd like to follow me there, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. I don't know where to put these books. I'm just going to stack them. Just stack them. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my... Oh, my God. That sounds... I hate that. I hate my voice. Just thought you should all know I hate it. However, they're... The, oh, God. Why? Yeah. Just one time I want to get through this without blooping, bloopering, flubbing up. The first book in this haul is by Lanny, Lanny, I think it's Lanny. Let's try that again. Did I miss a book? Oh no, I already, duh. I already hauled that book. Mother trucker. You all just fell. This is, these are, Zetithians. The UPS trucks here.